Welcome back. It is the hottest talk on Wall Street. Which company will be the first company worth $1 trillion? Amazon and Apple are in that horse race. Amazon earnings just coming out after the bell. It reported its largest quarterly profit in history, but falling short on what Wall Street ex expected for its revenues. It missed that estimate there. The stock is trending up after hours. Let's take it up with our market panel, Ty Young, wealth manager and CEO. He is Ty Young and stock swoosh owner, Melissa Armo. Melissa, what do you think here? You know, let me get back to what's going on with the earnings. I mean, like four out of 10 S&P 500 guys, CEOs are saying, you know, they're worried about the tariffs, but now it's, it's either tariffs or Amazon they're getting worried about. Amazon's into everything. Well, I, honestly, the market has shrugged off the fall in Facebook today, and with Amazon up tonight, it'd be hard-pressed to see that the market won't rally tomorrow. We have that GDP number out tomorrow morning, too, and I'm telling you, if that's good, with Amazon up, the market could fly, and the S&P, for the first time since January, can make brand-new all-time highs tomorrow. This Amazon is headed right up to 1900 2000 I mean, there's nothing stopping it. It's a beast. Yeah, to be a $1 trillion market value, it has to hit 2060 for Apple. It's 205 Quickly, Melissa, you're read on GDP tomorrow, what's the number going to be? Oh, I don't want to predict. I can look into my crystal ball. Okay, but... we'll come back to you. Let's get to Ty. <laughs> Ty, what do you say the GDP number tomorrow is going to be? Oh, wow, I hate to go out and live there, but oh, I think on. at least four and a half. Four I and think half. at there least four and a half. Wow. Yeah, I do. Whoa, that means the markets could really move. <laughs> uh, so Amazon getting into everything, to what Melissa is saying. Home insurance, presence in homes, the Internet of Things, smart utilities. Uh, they're doing possibly health insurance, uh, pill delivery of uh, uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, I mean, what, what else will, Am what do you think, Melissa, Amazon will next step into? Some say banking. They're going to try to do everything. They really are trying to step into everything. But remember, sometimes you don't have the quality. Like, remember, they bought Whole Foods. Now, I shop at Whole Foods. I'm a Whole Foods shopper. It's, no, it's not nice to, as nice to shop there anymore. So it's great that they're trying to do all these things to help consumers. But some consumers like quality. So, you know, you're, you're giving up some of the things for the, for, the, for the cheap service to having it come to you for delivery. Mm -hmm. Now they have the food delivery to your house. I'm telling you, I'm not 100% happy with giving up quality yeah. I, and I don't really know where that leads because Amazon's going to put a lot of people out of business. Let's get to Facebook, $123 billion market loss, Ty. It's the biggest one day loss in U.S. stock market history. Ty, I lost the equivalent of McDonald's. It wiped out its gains for the year. Uh, which, and I think uh, Mark Zuckerberg personally lost $17 billion in net worth. What's your take on what's going on at Facebook, Ty? Oh, he did. He lost $17 billion um, in the last 24 hours. He gave back all the gains for the year, as, as you just pointed Let's get to Melissa. We lost the feed there. Melissa, did we hit peak Facebook, Melissa? I mean, the full-blown love affair with social media isn't over. I don't think people like being surveilled and then have profiles of themselves sold. Your reaction? Well, Facebook had a lot of negative publicity this year. Remember, testifying before Congress, that didn't really go off that well, but the stock recovered. And just yesterday, before the earnings, it made brand new all-time highs up over 218. So the, 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 the thing that was panicky was the steep drop-off that it had. It was so quick and so fast from last night until today. And that's why, that's why Mark Zuckerberg lost a lot. That's why people that were long the stock lost a lot because it was in the 170s when it was up close to 220. But it doesn't mean Facebook isn't going to recover. I would not run back and buy stock on Facebook tomorrow, but there are a lot of people that were long Facebook and may have taken a hit today, but I wouldn't jump back in. If you want to go long, wait until the stock recovers. The tech sector, though, and you can see from Amazon yeah. tonight, is not going to necessarily take a hit just if Facebook even still drops you know, a little bit more. Here's the thing. Facebook, I think, has become too uncomfortable for users. Twitter is a virtual town square, but Melissa, Facebook is a virtual family living room. They don't want to hear about politics at the family dinner table. They don't want to hear it on Facebook. That's an uncomfortable space for viewers to, excuse, excuse me, users to be in. User growth went down and I think time spent on Facebook is not, is trending flat to the downside. That's right. And it might be because of the reasons that you said. People, people want to go on and they want to have fun and they want to talk to their friends and they want to talk to their family. They don't want to get in arguments about politics. Right. Melissa, you're terrific. Sorry we lost Ty Young. We're going to have both Ty and Melissa back on. Great stuff. Thank you both. Thanks. A possible promising drug to slow Alzheimer's.